I wanted to have a look. Uh, get some, be get some video. So 13 people have died in this building while exploring it and their corpses were found months later. <laughs> Alright, we're all going horror, dirty. The interior is tired, smells like tobacco. It looks like it was never completed. Hello. So I'm leaving Couture. These are all the places that it goes to, and I'm just going to pick something random. We're going here. Cool, cool, cool. Go. I'm not leaving till 10:17. So after taking the bus lucky dip, here I am in the town of Nixich. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I asked the guy that I bought this uh, V-Drink ripoff off from the shop. But we're gonna try this, because on the bus, I was a little bit dazed and confused. Mm. It's good. Maybe in the town of Nixich, I can finally fulfill my dream, which I've always thought about as a kid, is just finding a random town and just jumping on an empty train. So I'm just having a look and there's actually not that many places to stay around here. Well, there is, but they're actually really expensive for some reason, but there's a hostel and I don't really like staying in hostels, but, how else am I going to meet people in this town? So maybe it's a good idea, but I could get stuck in a room full of other weirdos just like me. Who knows? It could be fun. So I reckon we go find the hostel, suss it out, see what happens. So here is the one and only hostel of Evropa. More vibing it. There's just two random washed up travelers there doing their thing. Two dudes, about 45, 50 years old. I'm gonna go find somewhere else. Um, a little bit more pricey, but whatever. So I've just arrived in the town square and this is my official welcoming party. I was welcomed by three of these dogs. But have a look at this. See these tags in these ears here, like there? That means that they're not a complete stray and they don't get put down. So I'm a bit worried because this, this guy's really cool. But where's your tag? No tag. This guy's got one. This dude's got one. But uh, yeah, to sum it up, I got a nice welcoming from the puppies. But um, no one else has said hi to me yet, so I'm a little bit concerned. It's funny, the last town I was in, it was cats everywhere. Come here, dogs everywhere. <laughs> all right, we're all going. They heard there's a spare bed, so they're coming for the night. So I've just got here, and the reviews don't look good. Horror, dirty, the interior is tired, smells like tobacco. Difficulty falling asleep with a tobacco impregnated bed. Shit. So I've been transferred, upgraded if you will, to this new room. There was another lady in here and she just like, she just bailed, she just got out of here. But I'm staying here, it's actually not bad. Now this is the thing that I hate. So I booked this on booking.com. I put in my card details, you think it's done. Then you get here, and then they send you to the ATM to pull out money to give them cash. It's really annoying, but it, it happens at about half the places. Heaps of places in Albania, but it's the first time here. But um, we're gonna go, go for a bit of a walk and go check out this market.
So one cool thing I found about this town is I've been drinking this beer all through Montenegro and it's made here. Yeah, is this the local beer? Yeah. It is, it's local beer. Yeah, well there you go. So one cool thing about the town, how much for that one? Ciao. Ciao. All right, we're gonna drink this now. So a Nick Citro in the town of Nick Sitch, if that's the correct pronunciation. How you going boys? Good? Feel the locals? Everyone's just like, who is this random Australian guy? Not that they know, just some random alien walking around on a Monday afternoon at three o'clock, holding up a piece of plastic, talking to himself. Complete weird, watch this, ready? No one stops at crossings around here. <laughs> this seems to be the norm. All right, let's go check out this market. Hello. Givio. How do you say hello? Givio. Givio. Thank you. Uh, Just arrived from Australia. Mm. Checking it out. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, what have we got? I've already forgotten to say. I'm going to ask her again how to say it. How do you say hello? Hello. Hello in hello in Montenegro. <laughs> how do we say hello? Hello. Oh. How, how, how do I say hello? Bravo. 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 I'm already struggling. Bravo. 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 I will try and remember that. <laughs> One euro each. Wow. I will get some soon. I just want to have a look. Cool. All right. So we've already found some stuff. Have a look at this. There's always there's always these little wasp things getting into the grapes everywhere. Hello. See, everyone's friendly here. This is good. It's a very um, small market. Hello, how are you? Oh, figs. Are they raw? Uh, are they ready to eat? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're ready to eat. They look a little bit green. Dobre. Dobre? Dobre. Are they ready to eat? Let's just show the you. Oh, there's so many there. There's too many. Maybe not today. But, but thank you. Thank you for showing me. Massive storm approaching. I'm going to get absolutely drenched here shortly. Check it out, but. Look at the charge. 4.99 euro. Don't use this ATM. Absolute rip off. I'm actually hopeless sometimes. I've already forgotten how to say hello in Montenegro. I only learned like 10 minutes ago, but I found something really cool and interesting. If it's still there, because I find these things online and by the time you get there, they don't exist anymore. But it's just around the corner. I don't even know if you can get in there. On um, Google, this whole place it was like this, but it was about five years ago. It actually looks like they've started to clean it up a little bit and renovate it. But you know me, I definitely want to get in there and see that, so that's what we're going to do. So that's probably all we're going to be able to see because They've done a solid on the fence. How you doing? Hey. What's this? Uh, what's this building up here? Uh, this is start to building. Uh, it's uh, we have to go to the photo tour. 
17th. I wanted to have a look. Uh, get some, be get some video. Why? It have a, a hole in, 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 in. Has a hole? Yes. It's dangerous. Dangerous. I'm more worried about the police. You can see, but be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. Right, so we've got the green light to go in there. I believe. Probably not. But there's a massive hole, apparently. Um, so if anyone sees me, I'm with the construction guys over here. Oh, I reckon this gate's open. Oh, this is awesome. This is the kind of stuff I like. That's pretty good, cool tag for Joanna, whoever Joanna is. So it's like it was meant to be some amphitheater back in the day. Like this is where all the seats were. This is the stage, but I don't get it. Like why is there massive holes and all that? It looks like it was never completed. It just looks like they gave up at some point. But yeah, that's probably the hole the guy was talking about. It's pretty deep, but um, like it's not too scary because it's not not as if you don't know it's there. Like it's it's pretty obvious. GoPros suck as soon as the light goes down. So I don't even know if there's any point going in there. I did not realize how lucky I was. It wasn't until I was researching and putting this video together that I found out the locals call this building the House of Death. In the 40 years that this building has sat empty, 13 explorers have gone missing, with their corpses being found here months later. If I had have headed down into that basement, there's a chance I may have got lost and fallen into one of the many deep holes in the pitch black. They are reported to be full of black sludge, rubbish and have smooth cement walls which make it impossible to get out of. No wonder that guy said to be careful. Have a look at this from the outside. You've got, you've got the Vibe Sports Club, perfectly manicured hedges, beautiful grass. And then you've got this I saw behind it. <laughs> Telling you, this is Dog City. Hey. Not interested, but the city full of dogs. Unlike a tour, the city full of cats. Mind boggling. <laughs>